Terrina Stan, the first time I believe we see it in Ted Cup, gets vetoed most of the time because it's a balanced disaster in most matchups. But in Mira, it's okay. It's a very good Blade Master map, by the way. Wouldn't be too surprised to see double blade. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Shadow Hunter first by focus. What? So he wants to do the lightning shield creep, probably. That's pretty cool. All right, all right. I'm picking up what he's putting down. Soen is a big fan of the Blade Master, a very capable Blade Master player. Not quite as much in love with the Blade as Hitman, but uh, close to it. Which I think is part of the reason why Hitman is himself so fond of Soen. And that fondness has spilled over to Carson. As Carson oftentimes proclaims that um, Soen has the best micro in the world. We'll see if that holds true today. And there we are. Lightning Shield Creep, what's the blade doing? Oh, he's checking this position for an enemy Blade Master. Sees none here. I think he's already expecting a shadow. Maybe. Oh, he falls back. So the Shadow Hunter gets the full experience. You, of course, want to prevent any Lightning Shield denies. Ooh, excellent items. Mantle and big healing potion. Yes, sir. Heal wave chosen. This could be a Shadow Hunter uh, Pit Lord build, possibly. Most likely, right? I mean, what otherwise would be the second hero? Blade Master second is very hard to make work because normally he needs the levels, he needs the items, he needs to start farming early. Because he takes so long to come online in the first place. Now so it knows. He's got perfect items from the first two camps. This is one of the reasons why this map is so good for Blade. You can pick up two items here super easy. And also if you're uh, left alone you can try to snipe a merc camp. Perhaps even an enemy merc camp. Dispel. Wait what? What did he just dispel? Did you guys see that? He used the Shadow Priest to dispel the Blade Master. I don't think that did anything, did it? Speed scroll! Ah, yeah! Okay, thank you. Uh, brain fart on my side. True. Speed scroll, obviously. He sold the mantle. How could he? Well, I guess he needed inventory space. So in a bit behind in hero levels. Trying to catch up. Go for the Merc Camp creep. Lightning shield, nice and fast. Ooh. Great read by, great read by focus. Expects this to happen. Can he still last it? Would be huge. Would be enormous. But someone isn't allowing it so far. And of course, there's Hex now. Oh, and there's no Shadow Priest. Why didn't he go for a Shadow Priest? Ooh, so in. Well, wait a minute. I guess the Shadow Priest it doesn't even help. Because if you go for the Shadow Priest, he's the one who gets Hexed. Damn. This early game Hex is looking really good. Oh, he's getting level 3. He's got more mana for the next Hex. Oh my god. This might just be GG. Shadow Hunter's low HP, but he's got the big healing. He don't care. He's baiting the Wind Walk. Ooh, a sick play by Focus. And here's the Pit Lord. Mongrethod. That's a weird name. Wow. Berserker and the Grunts killed. Soen is in so much trouble. The only upside for him is he has amazing Blade Master items. But uh, it's pretty much all he has. The 
Cloud creeping a big camp right away with a nice pull over here. Also easy to do with Howl. Not solo creeping though. Scourge Bone Chimes would be insane pants. Lionhorn, also very good. And we're going for Raider Walker on both sides. Why do we see the stride on TS and not on other maps? It's because of the Lightning Shield mainly. You need a Lightning Shield creep on the Shadow Hunter to get a boost early game. And also, it's very nice to have this Merc camp early. Hex very good early, and then you can double down on the early game pressure with Mercs. But mainly, it's the Lightning Shield. Book of the Dead. Pretty terrible, because walkers counter that very easily. No Serpent Wards though, so the Shadow Hunter I think is going to be falling off a bit soon. The Axe won't be so effective anymore once there's Disenchant. He may want to retrain at some point. If he gets level 5, he should definitely retrain, in my opinion. And Focus looking for the push. Buys a TP to be on the safe side. Could also sell the scroll, uh, Book of the Dead. But if he can take out the Walkers or drain all the mana and then use the book, then it could be very strong. Oh, and he finds a Hex early on the Raider. I'm not sure if he has the time to kill it, though. Oh, his own Raider is coming in. Not killing the Raider. Oh, pops the Book of the Dead. That's why. Wants to take out the Burrow right away. Oh, so in. He's on the ropes. Loses the Raider as well. Yikers. Great game by Focus. Man, this Shadow Honor strat looking really good here. I think it was the creep jack at the Merc camp that really sealed the deal. Kills the raider, kills two burrows, and takes out the shop! I don't, yeah, and uh, couldn't even buy new items. So in here. Owl of Terror as well, level 3 on the pity. We got spike barricades for what that's worth. But Focus just has way too much. Great strat. Nicely executed. Or can the Blade Master turn around? Pit Lord is racking up the damage. Cleave is quite good. Spiritling is only really good when it comes to um, the opponent focusing targets down. And then it's hard to focus down targets because they split the damage and everything. But against AoE damage, Spiritling doesn't really do that much. So Pit Lord works out quite well here indeed. <laughs> Borolol. Focus almost with a 20 supply lead here. Oh, could get a raider maybe with a hex? No. Focus protecting it. He's got another heal scroll still. He's got a bit of mana on the shadow. Also on the pit lord. Leaves the Kodo at home. Game's not quite over yet. The thing is... There should have played Master in the game. Now, that's, you know... <laughs> well, uh... How do I say this? I am aware that that's not much of a comfort. But, you know, it is a blade still. Shadowhunter getting focused, but he's got Spirit Link also. He's got the big healing still from the early game. After the game, we're going to check out the damage chart. What do you guys think? Who did more damage? Pitlord or Blademaster? I think it's going to be close. I think here in these fights, Pitlord definitely did more. But the Blademaster was out since the early game. Blade, of course, Starbuck says. Okay. Starbuck, if you're wrong... I expect a shipment of potatoes to be delivered to my door. Wait. P. 
peons in trouble now. The workforce is being slaughtered. Alright. Last ditch effort. So in. He's got a decent army, I suppose. Well, he's got three walkers. Mainly good for damage against grunts, but there's not too many grunts anymore. Ooh, the cleave. The cleave is doing work, gentlemen. It's level two cleave, right? Yeah, it is. Not too much mana on the Shadow Hunters left. Honestly, Fog is also about to lose quite a bit here, eh? But I guess Sowen lost more. Also, he lost the Boros, he lost the Peons. It's gonna be checkmate here soon. One more mana potion, one more heal wave. Oh, look at that cleave ramping up. Oh, Starbuck. He's shaken. He knows potatoes may have to be delivered. Alright, GG. Focus wins map one. Let's check out the graph. Ha ha ha! Ah ha 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 ha! Guess who did the most damage? Well, Starbuck, that's too bad. Isn't that just too bad, Starbuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Gonna give you my address later. Uh, so we can wrap that up nice and quick. <laughs> to be fair, uh, so insane in there a little too long. Uh, he could have tapped out earlier and then the blade may have had more damage. But that's not what happened. Thank you, KMS3D, with the resub. 72 months! That's six years. Let's go, Remo. Thanks for the midday cast. Thank you very much for your support. <laughs> Potatoes. That's right. I'm like Samwise Gamgee. I'm almost always following those... Degenerates and addicts. That's me. All right, map number two. Wait a minute, what's it gonna be? Amazonia. Much smaller map. Also has a lightning shield creep. I have seen Shadowhunter here before. But it doesn't have mercs. At least not easily available early. I would be surprised to see a Shadowhunter here. Haven't seen a Farseer yet, by the way. That is normally Focus's favorite hero. Oh, no, never mind. It's not AZ. Three, two, one, go. And map two is going to be Todd Rock. Again, a map that's rarely played. Also, pretty difficult balance wise. But in Orc Mirror, it has its place. And I think Todd Rock is interesting because it's really good for Blade Grunts. And it's also pretty good for Fossier Headhunters. I mean, there's no map that's bad for Fossier Headhunters. So I wonder what this is going to be, eh? Focus in the lead. Up 1-0. Is he going to dare to cheese here a bit? I wonder. We haven't seen too many cheeses lately. Like, double racks, mass headhunters, tier 1. Was a thing in Orkmer a while ago. Especially on the slightly lower levels. But normally here on the pro level. 
We don't really see that. Alright, War Mill or no? No War Mill, Double Blade Master. Ooh. Right? Hell yeah. Nowadays, of course, Farseer nerfed a bit, Grunts buffed a bit. So more reason, I suppose, to play Blade. I haven't seen Focus play too much Blade Master and Mirror recently. The last three encounters, by the way, all went to Focus. But it was a close series. 2 and one 2 and one and 3 and 2 Before that, in WSB of November last year, Soen got the win. And previous to that, it was also four wins going in favor of Focus. So that's seven out of eight games recently going to Focus. So the more experienced player has had the upper hand as of late. Keeps the gauntlets. Interesting. Oh, and here we got the slippers. This is one of my biggest pet peeves in all of Warcraft 3. These little items, I think, have way too much of an influence. Imagine if, for example, Soen gets double slippers and Focus gets double cloak. It's so bad. It's so bad. Which is why I once suggested nerfing those items. But uh, anyways. We gotta push towards the main base. Burrow cancelled. That means the second grunt is delayed by a long time. At least the blade got the item. Oh, baby. Slippers and claws. Yes, sir. Trying to take on a peon as well, but that's not quite gonna work. Some additional lost mining time. And that was a good tactical move here, but comes at a price. Focus lost the item on his side and also is behind in experience. Let's compare the gold here. It's a little less than 200. Oh, but Focus coming back and he knows some of these peons are hurt. Very annoying. Oh, the grunt count is going to be so low. Ooh, that's really bad. I think losing a peon or two here wouldn't matter too much, probably, right? Oof. That burrow, I think, is just in time for the Shadowhunter. It might also delay the shit on it by a bit. Oh, I <laughs> focus has one P on AFK. Whoops. Asleep on the job. Our player's forces are under attack. Wouldn't survive at the Tesla Mega Factory. Oh, focus is here. And I'm having some spikes. Ugh. And now we got two grunts for focus. He's got the weaker items, but he's got two grunts, and they have a lot of damage, don't they? Oh, and focus secures the experience and item for himself. Gloves. Very nice play by focus so far. Just tactically nicely done. And I guess so, and he exposes base a little too much, maybe? Didn't the Grunt get the Ogre? I don't think so. I don't believe. Alright, so I'm going for the comeback play. Wants to snipe the item and the ward between the two bases. Oh, focuses. Oh! Movement was almost perfect. If he gets that steal here, it's almost GG. But so in gets it. Pendant for the Shadow. Very nice. Excellent items, dude.
Ooh, look at focus. Going for the red camp, senor. He's going to hex the magi, or what's he going to hex? Our player's forces are under attack. Yeah. Okay. Prevents the bloodlust. Soren wants to have full vision. He's going to go for the next merchant as well. And oh my god. Okay, these are some sick items. Focus, Helm of Valor. Okay, that's also very good for the blade. Not so easy to keep this camp, though, as it seems. But the good thing is you're rewarded with a rune of healing. Is this grunt in range? Yeah. Alright. And so in going for the red camp as well. Thank you, Nick Squirt, with the resub. Focus attacking the main already. He's still lacking quite a few of his units. But the Raider and the Walker are on the way. And of course he knows his opponent doesn't have a TP. Does he have to buy a TP here? No, it's just boosting home. Speed scroll committed. And that speed scroll is not going to be available in the fight. We'll have to buy a new one. Oh, the Raider. Hexed. Use the end snare. Maybe a bit of a waste on the end snare. But I guess it's cooling down. Man! Great play by Focus, right? Just really impressive two maps so far, but it's not over yet. Items on Soin are still insane. Shadowhunter has a ton of mana, but he's got few units. Oh, hex right away. Spirit Link, though, to protect him. And Snare on the grunt now. Instead, it's a Shadow Hunter now for focus in trouble. Speed scroll popped. Gets the little crab out of there. Keeps the Raider in the back. Wants to have the end snare ready. Doesn't want to lose it unnecessarily. Hex on the shadow, but the heal wave is ready. Level 3 on the blade. He's got a lot of mana, by the way. Heal wave once more. But when you have no end snare fighting against end snare, it's almost impossible to make that work, even with amazing items. And this is looking like a. Quick two O. Oh. Hex again. Backstab. And that is basically everything. Deadsies. Peons joining the party. They heard there's some free beer over here in the opponent's orc base. Whoops. Misclick on the troll region. That didn't really matter though. <laughs> Best macho in the world, so and. Well, he didn't really have a chance to display his micro. First game just out strategized, I suppose. In game two, it was a tactical victory. Focus. Very well done. Alright, that's our first game of the day. Over really fast. That was quick, quick, and then in a hurry. So, we're gonna go into a short break, and when we're back, Kaho versus Hawk coming up. See you in a moment. <laughs>